The Minister of Employment and Labor Relations has warned some sections of the public to desist from aligning and scandalizing the integrity of the Supreme Court. Speaking exclusively to TV3, Harun Idrisu is of the view such acts would affect Ghana's democratic credentials internationally. The Electoral Commission has already presented 56,000 names of those who registered with the National Health Insurance Cards. But the Council for the Plaintiff has challenged the figure praying the court to ask the EC to furnish it with accurate figures. But the Supreme Court has charged the Council for the Plaintiff to present figures if they have any contrary to what the Electoral Commission submitted. However, sections of the public have sought to attack the integrity of the judges, with some even threatening the lives of the judges. Minister of Employment, who is also a constitutional lawyer, has warned against such acts. And any attempt to scandalize and impugn the integrity of the Supreme Court can have dire consequences on our governance processes and on our democracy. And ultimately, commentators, particularly legal practitioners, ought to be profoundly circumspect. How many of is the view every decision by the Supreme Court or the Electoral Commission is subject to the Constitution? In reviewing what their mandate and authority is we don't lose sight so it's not for nothing that in the 1992 constitution there's always a proviso subject to the constitution so in as much as the constitution clothes you with an authority and mandate it limits you with that provision subject to the constitution operates as a limitation